Hi, it's Steve. Today we're going to show you how to change the high limit thermostat on your dishwasher and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver and maybe a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair we will need to remove the dishwasher from the cabinets. So the first thing we'll need to do is locate the breaker or fuse panel and turn off the power to the dishwasher. And then we're going to remove this lower access panel and it's held in place with two quarter inch hex head screws. Once we've removed that, we can then disconnect the inlet water supply and we'll also remove the screws that secure the top of the dishwasher to the bottom of your cabinets and then we can pull them out. Now with the dishwasher pulled out of the cabinets, we've laid it on its sides, so we've got good access to that high limit thermostat. We'll simply pull those two wires off and if they're a little snug, you can use the needle nose pliers We'll pull on the connector itself, not on the wire. And just tuck those out of the way for now. So that high limit thermostat is held in place with a metal bracket that has a quarter inch hex head screw that holds it to the bottom of the tub. Now next we can just push that thermostat out of that bracket discard it. We'll take our new thermostat, slide it into that opening, rotate it. And we'll set that up into position. Secure it with the screw. Make sure that thermostat is setting flush against the bottom of the tub. And we can reconnect the two wires. Now we can stand the dishwasher back up and prepare it to push it back into the cabinets. Now that we've connected the utilities back up, before we put the access panel on the dishwasher, we're going to run a short cycle just to make sure that we don't have any leaks. Once we've verified that we have no water leaks, we can go ahead and put the access panel back in position. Now that we have the access panel back in position, secured to the cabinets, our repair is complete.